network and find out more about how to grow my business. And one of the things I was really interested in after you all did your Box Socks webinar, um, I think that was maybe like a month or so before MagnaCon, was being able to try the socks because um, you know I'm an occupational therapist, just my regular job, um, and so I was I was a little skeptical. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, trying to figure out, you know, how is something that is in your socks or your insoles really going to influence your brain? So I just, I wanted to try it before, um, before I kind of made any decisions. And, um, I actually was able to link up with Beth Hamelbacher, um, happened to sit next to her on the bus to Churchill Downs. I love Beth. Uh, love her. And we were, you know, we were just chatting and I, I didn't know that, you know, she was into the box socks as well at the time, but we were chatting and I was telling her kind of all about my knee injury. I had a pretty terrible knee injury, um, in August of 2017, ended up tearing up my cartilage in my knee, dislocated my kneecap, had two surgeries, one of which was experimental entirely. Um, that I'm still recovering from. So we were kind of talking about, you know, how MagnaWave has helped me with my knee pain and with kind of improving in my recovery. And she asked, you know, if I had tried the socks. And I said, no, actually, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I came to MagnaCon was wanting to be able to try these socks. And she was like, oh, you know, it, you're going to love them. And um, so I actually tried the patch first. Um, she gave me a patch that I could wear for the whole day on Friday. Um, and you know, did yep, love those for those days when I don't want to wear socks and shoes. I want to wear flip flops. Yeah. Um, and you know, she did the the balance testing on me, and I was just I was blown away. You know, because I just I couldn't really believe it, even though I felt it. And I was like, you know, okay, I'm gonna wear gonna wear this patch and see what happens. And really, what I noticed the the biggest thing was when we were leaving lunch. Um, you know, everyone crowds into the elevators and we were like, well, we're going to walk down the stairs. Normally walking downstairs for me is a, is a pretty painful activity yeah. with my knee. Um, haven't been able to walk downstairs without pain since before my accident. And as we were walking down the stairs, I, I stopped and I was like, something isn't right. I just, I don't feel right. Something, you know, is, is just very different. And, um, they all stopped. They were like, are you okay? You know? And I was like, you know, it's, I don't have any pain in my knee. I'm walking down the stairs without pain. And to my brain, that was so foreign yeah. that it was it was startling to me that I was like, I'm I'm not in pain. Um, you know, and I, I brought the socks home and I went out on a run the day after I got back from MagnaCon. Um, I've been struggling with running. I've had shin splints and all sorts of other problems. I'm running on the outside of my foot. I have horrible alignment issues after the surgery. Um, and, you know, wearing custom orthotics to try to correct it, that kind of stuff. I, I didn't do any of my normal taping, compression, stretching, nothing. I wanted to see what the socks could do. And I went out and had one of the best runs that I've ever had. And I went wow. on over the last two months after not being able to progress past running for a minute at a time, I could maybe do three or four or one minute intervals of running with before everything would just fall apart. You know, painful shin splints, the knee would start hurting, my foot was hurting. In two months of wearing the socks every day, including on my runs, I was able to complete a 5K two weeks ago, nonstop running, 37 minutes. I'm, I'm slow still, but you know, and I felt great afterwards. I had no pain, you know, I was tired, but I, I felt great afterwards. And I just, I am so blown away by the technology. I, I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. So first of all, that's amazing. And I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is why we do this. And I think Stan and I, we met in New York City at a um, mentoring program with Dr. Oz. If you don't know our story, I, we will link the, um, you know, Stan and I's entire story, our old, our webinar that we did before in the comments below. But I just want you guys to understand that this is why Stan and I be, like clicked immediately because we talked about how both therapies with the MagnaWave and the socks, how it changes people's lives. And if you like to make people better, if that's what you want to do. When you hear these type of stories, I mean, it's amazing. And I can't, I was thrilled when you told me this in the car the other day, Kate, when we were talking, like your story is why I do MagnaWave and why I, you know, I believe in these socks. So Stan, that's the first time you've heard that story. What do you think? How often do you hear stuff like that? You know, I hate to say that it sounds incredible, 
But that's what I hear every day. Yep. I mean, literally, my phone rings every day, and it's people calling to say, thank you for telling me about these socks. You're not going to believe what just happened to my, many fill in the blanks, either to mm -hmm. my mother, brother, my sister, my neighbor. And so Kate's story was great. And the fact is, I tell people, don't believe me. You know, think whatever you want. Be as skeptical as you want. Just try it. Because yeah. I'm talking to somebody, my pitch literally is four words. My pitch to everybody is take off your shoes. That's yeah. it. That's all they need to do. And I love skeptics. I always considered myself the most skeptical person in the world. And when I first heard about this, I said, come on. I mean, I literally, I laughed when I first heard about these socks. I said, come on, this is a magic trick. But it wasn't until I literally tried this on my 93-year-old mother, and I could not tip her over when she was stepping on the insoles. That's when I instantly said, okay, She's not trying to sell me anything. She's not trying to con me. I cannot tip over this little 93-pound, frail, 93-year-old great-grandmother. <laughs> That's when I realized there's something to this, and it's happening in the brain. And I tell people, you know, if you're experiencing pain or you have a balance problem, but to go to pain for a second, you may think that you've got back pain or you've got shoulder pain. The fact of the matter is all of that pain comes from the brain and so right. by touching the bottom of your foot or by putting on the patch we see a change in brain activity and we see it through these EEG brain scans and we've got thousands of them so I tell people you don't need to believe me you don't need to believe Kate you don't need to believe anybody just try it yourself yeah. you be the judge and that's that's what I think is so amazing because it's very similar to you know MagnaWave and anything that you're, you just get to put the socks on like get a treatment put the socks on try to change your life like it's not we're not we're not asking you to do anything and the beautiful thing and Kate and I were talking about this yesterday the beautiful thing about this is that the company gives you a money back guarantee so if you would like to purchase the socks um, you can and if you don't feel it you can send them back and get your money back so like it really is a great experience and 99% of our practitioners do your first treatment free so like come try these therapies because there's a lot of things out there that are aren't available tradition in traditional medicine that can really help um, change your life and do do more things and make you more mobile I actually um, gave these little ones these little socks which i was just telling um stan and kate i need to get more for my son because um he has to wear white socks to school and he has the gray and the red and thank you stan for giving him a pair at magnicon like he loves these socks and he wears them constantly and he's like mom i can't wear them to school i gotta get white so i'm gonna order some more but you know what's really amazing is the calming effect like i have an eight-year-old little boy and i myself am a little bit crazy with energy people talk about it all the time like calm down i, I probably hear that a lot more than i should because i do i go 190 miles an hour and i will say that the patch i literally can feel it in my brain like i feel like i can calm concentrate and I feel more focused with it on and it's not a jittery feeling it's not what you get a lot of times with other traditional therapies like that um so is that something that you've seen Stan have you ever seen like Kate like do either of you ever feel calming or just the ability to focus a little bit more because that's really been something that's affected me and my son you know I'll go for a second here are you familiar with an EKG yes an EKG is measuring the electrical activity of your heart. Right. When somebody goes to the hospital, if they think they're having a heart incident, bingo. They put the electrodes on you, and they're looking at the graph. They are looking at the electrical activity of your heart. Well, there's also what's called an EEG. An EEG is looking at the electrical activity of your brain. So they put a little hat on you that has 19 sensors just like the ones they put on your chest and your arms yeah. and your leg for an EKG. So what this EEG does is it is actually mapping out your brain and it's demonstrating the electrical activity of your brain. So to answer your question, we have thousands of brain scans where we see in children on the autism spectrum, 
adults with PTSD, children with ADHD, people with Parkinson's and MS and that have had a stroke. This is diagnostic. So it's not a therapeutic event, it's a diagnostic event. And we literally see a change in brain activity the moment the socks come in contact with your feet. I think down at MagnaCon I had a banner there yeah. that had a study on it. And that study is, it was done by a doctor named Robert Thatcher. And if you look up his CV, you will discover that he is one of the leading experts in the world of neurology. In fact, Dr. Thatcher taught psychiatry at Harvard for 16 years. He's written nine medical textbooks, 300 peer-reviewed articles. One of our doctors sent a couple of these QEEG brain scans to Dr. Thatcher to review. Dr. Thatcher called him and said, there must have been something wrong with your equipment because there's no way you could have seen this significant a difference in brain activity literally one minute after you did your baseline testing if the only change that happened was you put a pair of socks on somebody. So our inventor and doctor flew down to Florida to meet with Dr. Thatcher who proceeded to do his own testing and now the new quote from Dr. Thatcher is we're going to need to rewrite the medical books. Wow. That's how profound this is and it happens instantly and especially in today's age of, you know, a lot of people are fearful of a lot of pharmaceuticals because you hear the stories, whether it's opioids or other things. I'm not anti-drug. There are times when the correct treatment plan absolutely. for these drugs absolutely help billions of people. But there are also side effects from a lot of the drugs. So a lot of people like to see, is there some alternative? You know, is there something else out there that maybe we haven't thought of as yet? That's the beauty of the socks. You know, it's drug free, it's non-invasive, there are no contraindications, you know, there really are no side effects. And so it's a very simple, holistic approach to trying something. Because I tell people, to me, the two most powerful words in the English language, what if? I mean, what if something as simple and crazy as changing your socks could have a dramatic impact on your well-being? So that's the aim of the game. Just, just like with MagnaWave, just try it. You have nothing to lose. Exactly. Because what if it does do something fabulous for you? Exactly. So, Kate, I mean, you're a perfect example of that because you started, um, you know, you used the MagnaWave and it helped with your pain and your rehabilitation. But then, you know, this sock really changed you. Have you have you noticed any other side effects of wearing the socks? Um, I definitely notice a, a, a big boost in my energy level. Um, I, I work in home health, so I spend all day in my car driving all over the, the Jacksonville area and surrounding areas, as well as I, I travel for my MagnaWave business since I treat horses. I, I travel all over Northeast Florida. So I spend a lot of time in my car and I've always been something, you know, you're driving for long periods, you're on interstate, you know, with endless miles ahead of you, you start to get tired. And I, I always kind of felt like I was just like waiting for my next caffeine boost yep. <laughs> during those long drives. Like, oh, I gotta stop and get you know a soda or I gotta get coffee or something like that. Um, and I, I really don't feel that way anymore. I feel like you know I can work all day long, you know, go treat patients all day, and then I go work on a few horses and I ride my horse and I run, and then I've got documentation to come home and do. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm not exhausted still by the end of the day, you know, I'm tired, but I'm not falling asleep trying to still do the rest of my day to day activity. So I definitely notice a, a boost in energy and able to focus a little bit better. And my sleep has also really improved. Um, I noticed, I do notice if I, if I don't wear the socks at night, cause obviously if they're, if they're not on or you don't have a patch on, then the tech isn't working. Right. right. So, um, 
you know, if I, I kind of forget to, to put a pair of socks on or, you know, they're both in the wash because I haven't done laundry um, and I don't have the socks on when I sleep, I, I'm right back to being a super light sleeper. I wake up multiple times throughout the night, so I, I end up not feeling very rested in the morning. When I wear the socks, I sleep all the way through the night and wake up feeling great the next day. Yeah, I've noticed that too. So, like,